My book smells like meat. Oh, civilian! I have Airwick! Hello, Joe? Yo, we have to film. Oh. Uh, yeah, 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 I'll be right there. Can someone help me out here? I don't know what's happening. Uh... Be later! <laughs> Good morning, Parker High School. Today is Friday, October 30th, and here are your morning announcements. There's a homecoming football game tonight, and there's a barbecue before that at 5 o'clock. Please head on out there tonight. And this week is Red Ribbon Week. Parker supports those who choose a violence and drug-free lifestyle. And there's a winter track meeting on November 11th in Mr. Farrell's room. Please see Mr. Farrell if you need any contact. We now bring you 60 Spooky Seconds with Steve. We now bring you 60 Seconds with Steve. Hey Joe! I'm glad I bumped into you, dude. I've been trying to catch up to you for like 10 seconds. Yo, I got some really funny Halloween jokes I gotta tell you, dude. What do ghosts eat for dinner? Steven, what's wrong with you? Spooketty. Steve, that, that was really stupid. Alright, 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 I got another one, don't worry. What do Italian ghosts eat for dinner? Steve, I wanna go home. Fettuccine Alfredo. Steven, I wanna go home. Yeah, what did the- no, this is, this, one, this is a good one. What did the eye doctor give the trick-or-treaters? I don't know. Candy corn ea. Dude. We're so sorry, skeletons, you're so misunderstood. Thanks for that, Steve. Now, in honor of homecoming, we have a very special tribute to Mr. Maioli. That night to me was special on a lot of different fronts. Uh, first of all, the tribute to Coach. Um, we really wanted to do something special to recognize all he had meant to our community. Um, you know, not just here in the school, but it was great to see so many familiar faces from the town, um, former coaches, players, um, and then obviously having both Hasbro Kites players and our players there together honoring Coach was such a tribute to just show how much of an impact he had. The ceremony was nice, um, it felt good to see the Maiolis again, um, and they're always supporting us, and uh, I just wanted to win the game, support them. Uh, we have a great group of guys this year, we've worked really hard from you know, the beginning of camp, we're talking all the way back in August, and um, you know we really take each game one week at a time, so we know how resilient and tough our guys are, and how much they really worked and wanted this win, so um, we were confident the entire time that you know we were in a, the positions to succeed, and uh, you know we were going to pull through. Seeing the crowd, I think, got everyone even more excited for the game, and just the energy and the turnout that we got was so amazing. The crowd during the Heights game was probably the best crowd we've ever had. Um, everybody was hyped. I could even feel like how hyped the boys were on the side, and after the game storming the field, I thought that was probably the best part, and the game overall was the best game I've ever attended as a high school student. To be a rowdy, it means just to pump everybody up in the stands. I mean, sitting in the first row is so much fun. I don't care if I don't have a voice the next day. I usually do have a voice, so I don't care. I have my boo-boo's well, I got my air horn. 
You already know it. I never thought we would lose a game because we had a lot to play for. We really came together as a family. Honestly, I don't think it's possible to come to one of our games and not feel like a part of this family that we have. And I know when that last kick went wide to the left, the coach was up there pushing it that way. And it uh, proves to us that coach is still always going to be here for us.